Ready, go! Break news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unbelievable. See the allegation that was leveled against Buari by Unam Bikano's lawyer. Unbelievable. See the allegation that was leveled against Buari by Unam Bikano's lawyer. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please sit tuned as I read today's news. The lead counsel of the indigenous people of the Afro leader trial, Ifiai Ejiofol, has alleged that President Muhammad Buhari is trying to, intim to intimidate the judges who are handling the hype of leader trial. The hype of leader's chief lawyer stated this on Sunday while reacting to President Muhammad Buhari's remark to the UK Prime Minister that they did not release the hype of leader on bail because they were afraid he would jump bail again. If you are in a geo for First and foremost, described the president's comments as fearless, mischievous, utterly false in character, and which also showed the president's hatred towards the Igbo race. He then urged foreign countries and international communities to pay close attention to the antics employed by President Muhammad Buhari's administration to persuade judges to do the abiding. And in the statement that was released by the IPOP leader lawyers, that was made available by the Daily Post on Sunday morning, he wrote that, my attention has been drawn via calls and messages from foreign colleagues, friends, and world wishers to a profoundly shocking statement credited to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Major General Muhammad Buhari, at a bilateral meeting he held with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. On the sidelines of the 26th Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting at Kigali, Rwanda. The statement is careless, mischievous, utterly false in character, and content pedestrian and confirms also again the entrenched hatred, odium, and contempt is inf infinitely divisive and partisan precedent as for people of the Igbo race. We wish to use this medium to urge foreign governments and international communities to pay more attention to the antics of the Buari led federal government of Nigeria who have sworn to violate the principles of separation of powers by intimidating the judge seized of his case into doing the abiding. The lead counsel of the indigenous people of the Afro leader trial, Ifiyanye Jiofo has alleged that President Muhammad Buhari is trying to intimidate the judges who are handling the hype of leader trial. The IPOB leader's chief lawyer stated this on Sunday while reacting to President Muhammad Buhari's remark to the UK Prime Minister that they did not release the IPOB leader on bail because they were afraid he would jump bail again. He 
if you are in a geo for first and foremost described the president's comment as careless mischievous utterly false in character and which also showed the president's hatred towards the Igbo race He then urged foreign countries and international communities to pay closer attention to the antics employed by President Muhammad Buhari's administration to persuade judges to do their biding. And in this statement that was released by the IFOB leader lawyers, that was made available by the Daily Post on Sunday morning, he wrote that my attention has been drawn via calls and messages from foreign colleagues, friends, well wishers to a profoundly shocking statement credited to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Major General Muhammad Buhari, at a bilateral meeting he held with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the sidelines of the 26th Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting at Kigali. The statement is careless, mischievous, utterly false in character and content, pedestrian and confirms once again the entrenched hatred, odium and contempt this infinitely divisive and partisan president as for people of the Igbo race. We wish to use this medium to urge foreign government and international communities to pay more attention to the antics of the Buhari-led federal government of Nigeria, who have sworn to violate the principles of separation of powers by intimidating the judge seized of this case into doing their biding. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.